Hello everyone, today we're going to play with the six magic clip Disney princesses and we're going to make some awesome beautiful gowns for each one of them. So stay tuned and enjoy. We're going to start by making a dress for Elsa. So start out with some light blue Play-Doh clay. Let's uh, make a ball and push Elsa through it and kind of give it a very general shape. Get another piece of clay and just flatten it out. Doesn't have to be precise, just a big chunk to give it the shape of the skirt. Push it around, give it a little shape and get it all nice and tight. Next, get a smaller piece and do the same thing. Flatten it between your fingers and roll it out Wrap the, the small piece around the top of Elsa and you'll see that right away you give it the look of a beautiful fancy gown. Smooth it out a little bit using your fingers. Now we're going to use another section with dark blue. We're going to roll it out into a thin sheet of uh, Play-Doh. Like that. We're going to crimp the edges together at the top in order to give it the waist elastic look. And I'm going to repeat that with the other side and make sure they're together in the back. And attach it just by pushing gently and bringing it all together. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Beautiful gown. But we're not done yet. Gonna give it a little finishing touch at the top, but just by bending over the edge gives it a draped look effect. I'm gonna take one piece, a small piece, and just kind of shape it like a bow, and then put a little small piece in the middle for the center of the bow. Now we're taking some homemade glittery putty. Yes, this was homemade. We're gonna gently stretch it out. And we're going to use it to make a nice veil to put around uh, Elsa. If you would like to know how to make this uh, putty, please leave us a comment below and maybe we'll make a video showing how to make it. Again, it's all homemade. And look at that, a beautiful gown that Elsa has now with glitter. Gorgeous. And moving right along, we're going to make a dress for Belle this time around. We're take, I'm taking a, p a piece of scrap Play-Doh because we're going to cover it up. I'm going to sh give it a slight shape uh, right up to her waist mid area. And then I'm going to roll out some gold Play-Doh. Yes, this is gold. Not very easy to find, but a uh, beautiful look. And once you have a nice sheet of the Play-Doh, then wrap it around Belle. And you'll see form a very simple, plain dress. Cut a line around the bottom to give it a nice seam. Shape it a little bit, making the waist nice and narrow. And now I'm going to take a butterfly hole punch. This punch works just like a cookie cutter. It's shaped like a butterfly and then when you push it down, it makes the indentations of the butterfly. So we're going to line the bottom of the dress with butterfly cutouts. Look how pretty it looks already. And we're going to do one more for the side. Now we're going to cut one final one and put it right in the chest piece of the dress. Look at that gorgeous. And now to finish it off, we're going to take a small strip of Play-Doh and make a hair piece for a bell. Beautiful dress. Next, we're going to work on Ariel. And I think this time, instead of giving her a dress, we're going to make her a mermaid. So take a big chunk of Play-Doh. I'm using a teal green. And start molding the shape of a mermaid. Put it around, all around her body and uh, start molding the shape. molding with your fingers until you have a shape that you're happy with. It might take a little bit of time, but soon enough you will get it. I'm going to put 
put a rock, big old rock behind Ariel so she can sit comfortably. Continue shaping it until you're happy with the result. I'm going to take the back of this plastic spatula and I'm going to make the indentations for the scales of the mermaid body. It can be just random and quick. I'm going to draw some lines in the thin too just to give it a little extra volume. And we're almost done. Next, just take a little lighter color of Play-Doh, making, making, rolling it out into a long snake shape, putting around the waist just to blend in the body and the upper body of the mermaid. And now I'm going to do the same thing and place some stripes on the fin. Again, just, this is just to give it some extra volume. done. Next I'll roll out some of that lighter shade Play-Doh too and I take some circle cutters and cut out two. Draw some lines, put it up in the front of the chest, make it look, look like seashells and there the mermaid is dressed. Little finishing touches and almost there. Finally I'm going to place her on the side there. I'm going to take some of that glittery silly putty that is all homemade. I'm going to place it under Ariel to make it look like water. Look how cool that is. Again, if you want to learn how to make that, leave us a comment. Snow White's turn. Put some yellow under her and bring it all the way up to the top just to give it the, the, the first base of shape. Now we're going to roll out some yellow into a, a thin sheet of Play-Doh. Just roll a little, turn it, and roll it again. You don't need any fancy tools. I'm actually using a little piece of PVC pipe, so anything that you have laying around the house can do. Cut it up, and trim the edges, put it around snow white and look at that a beautiful skirt already done tuck it in a little bit give it some extra puffiness volume and now we're going to get some dark blue and I'm going to cut out uh, two circles And here's the cool thing that we're going to do this time. For the top of the dress, we're going to make it glittery. So take some glitter, just a little bit will do, put it on a plate. I'm using the lid of the Play-Doh. And then just gently dip the circles in there. And look at that beautiful top for Snow White. I'm going to do that to the two circles. Push them in so they stick to the rest of the dress. Put her arms down. Now I'm going to take a dry paintbrush, dip it in the glitter, and just brush it lightly all over the dress to give it some more shimmer. How gorgeous this is. Very easy. Anyone can do this. cut out two more circles to make the sleeve for the dress. So there's the two circles and I'm going to take a little bit of red, roll it into a small shape there and push it in and then put it right on the shoulder of Snow White. And the, oops, and there you have it gorgeous Snow White. Look how beautiful that dress is. I'm going to move it over to the side. Now, now we're going to work on the dress for Anna. And there you go. We start with a white base. Again, same as the other ones. Just uh, shape it up a little to make it look like a skirt for the basic shape. And then roll out another piece of white Play-Doh. 
we're going to do here is cut strips from this play-doh several strips nothing needs to be straight lines because fabric is not straight and we're going to just lay it in layers around that original skirt of the dress. One more, we're almost there. And now we're gonna take some light pink and roll it out again to a nice thin shape. Gonna bunch it up at the top to give it that waist flow and put it over the previous white skirt. And again, you start seeing the shape of a beautiful gown. A little more pink. We're going to cut out circles to do the top of the dress. Rolling out a little bit more, and we're going to do a butterfly. And that didn't quite work, so we're going to roll it up again. That's the beauty of Play-Doh. And roll it up again, cut out another butterfly, and there you go. We're going to put it right around the waist. And now some straps for the shoulders. Look how easy that was to make. Anna is ready. But let's do some glitter, too. Here we have red glittery gl putty. Let's make a nice scarf to go with that beautiful dress. Look at how nice that looks. And finally, we're going to do another dress also for Anna. Let's do the basic shape like we've done in the previous dresses. Roll it all the way. We're actually going to make a very simple tight gown on this one. So we're going to stretch it up all the way to the top and give it some shape. Nice tight dress all the way down with an overflow skirt. And we're going to take some of that putty, this time red putty. We're going to stretch it nice and easy, make it in, making it a nice big round shape. You work this putty just like you do like pizza dough. You turn it and stretch it, turn it and stretch it. Looks like we're just about done. I'm going to make a hole and put it right over her head. And look how gorgeous that immediately looks. Just so sophisticated and beautiful. Take it off her face. We're going to take one more little piece of putty and just do some, something to go over her head. How cool is that? Again, we can make this putty at home. Just leave us a comment if you would like to see a video. Beautiful. Stunning. How nice a collection of dresses. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends. Stay tuned for our next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.